In my previous video, we have seen on how to access associative arrays using object.member notation. In this video, we are going to see on more with respect to how to create and initialize various JavaScript objects. So let us start from new object. So first of all, object is already a reserved word. It is a built-in function you can call it as so using this particular new object you can actually create a new instance or say new object so this is a particular object which you can essentially use to add more members to that and assign to the, the values to those members simultaneously so the moment you say new object it creates or allocates some memory and assigns that memory to oemp1 so this is just the object name and using the same object, you can create members by just assigning values to their respective members. So in this case, I'm actually adding a new property called employee number by assigning a value 1001. So once the statement is executed, a new property called employee number gets added to that object. And at the same time, that particular value will be placed into that particular property. So from now on, whenever I access oemp.employee number, I am going to get this particular value out of it. Similarly, you can add as many number of properties as possible and you can assign as different types of values as possible. So this is thing like members can be added later. So which means while creating the object, you will not specify the structure of the object. However, you are going to add all the members later, all the properties, all the methods later after instantiating the object. So this is one way of doing the things. The second way is using the braces. So whenever you see a brace or something of this sort, you can say nothing but you are initializing or creating a new object. And that particular object is the same as what you are going to create here. And you can also call that particular object as object literal. So it is a kind of a literal object. And again, you can have all the members to be added later. So you can use either this particular syntax or this syntax in order to create an object and add all the respective members a bit later. The other way is instantiating and assigning all the values at the same time along with creation of properties so which means in this case this whole part is one single statement in one single statement you are essentially creating a new object along with all the properties and the values in the form of key value pairs so you are doing both the jobs of instantiation and initialization of the object at the same time in one particular statement. So in one statement, you are creating an instance, you are creating the properties for that instance, you are assigning the values for those properties which will be residing inside the, inside the same instance. So you can use either of these three methods while you are working with JavaScript objects. So let me have a quick demonstration on achieving the same. So let me create a new file here. So I call this one as 02 for now. And uh, let us start with some script. And in this case, the first thing is that I would like to create an object called OEMP1 using new object syntax. So you just declared an object called OEMP1 and it has got no members or no properties at the moment and you would like to add more now. So I can say OEMP dot employee number equal to 1001. So this could be a string or it could be just a number or boolean value or any kind of data type. So similarly I can say OEMP1 dot ename equal to any string and similarly oemp salary equal to 5400 and similarly another one called emp one number equal to 10. So in that way I added four new properties to the same instance and along with those properties I also assigned the values into the same properties. 
So in order to get the values out of those, the simplest way is just accessing each of those members using the same object.member notation. So in this case I can say I would like to display OEMP number concatenated with a comma and then I would like to have emp employee name to be displayed concatenated with a comma and next I would like to have oemp.salary plus again another concatenation with the comma and oemp1.department number. So I can have all of these at the same time and say that I would like to have an alert which essentially goes through each of those particular properties, fetches the values and separates them using the comma. So let us see if this is going to work for us. So now you can see I got all the values displayed in the same alert. So as I mentioned we have other ways to do this. So I, I just wanted to copy the whole thing and paste in here. So let me comment this whole thing so that we are concentrating only on this part. So instead of using new object notation as I mentioned earlier you can just use two curly braces, a pair of curly braces. So whenever you use something like this you call this one as object literal. So it could be called as an object literal and again all of this is going to work no matter what. So let me save this and execute this. Still you can see I received the same output no matter what. So the initialization, sorry, the instantiation could be done using a either new object or using object literal syntax by just providing a pair of uh, curly braces. And uh, let me copy it again and do another one similar to this. So in this case, I would like to remove everything and start with an object literal. However, I would like to have all of the properties to be mentioned along with the values using key value notation. So in this case I can say employee number is going to be 1001. Similarly, employee name is going to be jag in strings and salary which could be 5400 and department number which is going to be something like 10. So there are a couple of things to note here. First of all, I don't need to have OEMP1 to be always added in front of those properties because it is still being added within the same object instance. So you don't need to prefix OEMP1 as we did earlier here. And on top of that, the next thing is that each of those key value pairs, whatever you are going to define, has to be uh, ending with a comma if you have any successive properties or subsequent properties. And you can see the last property doesn't have a comma as because we are not adding any more properties. So the more properties you have, the previous property for every successive property should end with a comma. And the last one will not have a comma. And now this should still work no matter what. So let me save this again and execute this. So there we go. And as I mentioned, each and every particular object inside, behind the scenes, it works as if it is in the form of an associative array. So instead of going this way, we can also go in another way in order to fetch the elements. Something like, I can just say alert OEMP3 or OEMP1 and instead of writing employee number, I can also say I would like to get the value available at this location and that is going to have the location in the form of string. This is nothing but the associative array I covered earlier in my previous videos. So each and every object internally even though those are called as properties they can be accessed using string based index and the object can be treated as an array and this should still work with no problems. So let me get the others too. So let me copy this and make my life a bit easier. So I'm going to have the next one as employee name and next one 
salary and next one department member so yes this is going to be the last I don't need any of this stuff so let me see if this is going to work and there we go this one still works so as you mentioned either you declare and initialize an associative array or if you declare any kind of object using literal notation or a new object or any of that sort you still have the flexibility to access each of those properties using object not member notation or associative array with the string based index and that string is nothing but the property you are going to use so this is just another way of doing the things and imagine I would like to actually go through each of the properties no matter what how many number of properties I have so imagine I have hundred properties and I would like to pass through each of those properties available inside the object so we have another way of accomplishing the same and as I mentioned this is nothing but an array behind the scenes and that to associate to array I can start with a for loop so in this case I would like to have the entire result to be placed inside a variable called result initializer with just an empty string so now I can say for each property inside OEMP1 so I can start something like this so P is just your own variable it could be I or M or whatever so this will essentially have each of those property names but not the values so you are fetching only the names of those properties which are available inside this particular object so for every iteration you are going to have a property name to be stored inside the variable P and now you can easily fetch the value by just specifying OEMP1 of P so as P is nothing but the name of that particular property you are literally using this syntax to get the value out of it and in this case I would like to get the value and I would also say which property is this particular value is belonging to so in this case I would like to say result equal to P plus dot something like this so it's not p plus dot so I can just say equals so after that I would also like to have next line so that you know it it might give a better idea on where it is and how it is really displaying it and now I just alert result so let us see how this is working so let me like this and now you can see I got all the property names concatenated with equal to and all the respective property values so how did I achieve that this is nothing but the property name concatenated with equal to getting the value outside that particular associative array is by providing the name of that particular string based index as I mentioned here so using the same property name I'm getting the value inside that object concatenated again with the previous equal to and finally slash in at the end so that it goes to the next line so this is just another way in order to have all of those particular values to be fetched in one instance and there are more ways for example let me comment this guy and there is one more way we can accomplish for example let us consider I'm using object of keys OEMP1 let us see what this one does so I just throw this and execute this and now you can see this is nothing but an array of all the property names I have all the property names fetched automatically the moment I use object.keys so object is a built-in object in JavaScript and it has got a property called keys where it extracts all the properties or keys available in a particular object and returns an array so this keys is a function which goes through all the properties available in the object and returns an array of all those property names so this gives us all the property names available in an object in the form of an array if I have an array 
then it is quite easier for me to use a for loop and get all the values out of it. So let us go with another for loop where I will be starting with 0 i less than object dot keys and then I can say omp1 dot length so which means I am going through all the elements available inside that particular array and now I can just get this so just to make our life easier let me declare something like variable array equal to this whole thing so that you know we can reuse the same array over and over again so as I mentioned this returns an array of employee sorry array of all the property names available inside this object so array so I can use the same array right here so that way my code will be looking much simpler and we can reuse the same instance over and over again now let us use whatever I did earlier so I'm going to use the same thing here and now I can say I have array of i so which means nothing but I am just getting the value of that particular property name so let us not worry about this whole stuff for now so let me see if this is working first and of course I need to declare variable result here with an empty string and let me alert it So uh, let me execute this and now you can see I got all the property names automatically but just by using a for loop and going through the same property array whatever I have but the goal is to get the values out of those so as I mentioned you can still use this whole thing in the same fashion as I'm using this gives the property name just imagine this gives the property name and in order to get the value out of it I am going to use the same property name in right in here so let me quickly quickly execute this and now you can see I got all the property names and the values so you can literally use the same property name whatever I have in here to be always fetched using the same thing